Johanne is a Indibo, a social cultural organization in the southeastern region of Nigeria, an umbrella for all speaking Igbo people in the country, has called for the immediate release of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPUB leader Namdi Kano, from DSS detention. The organization, through its leader and national president, Chief Emmanuel Iwayanwu, made the demand during a courtesy visit to the office of the Deputy Speaker, Right Honorable Benjamin Kahlo, in Abuja on Friday. Chief Iwayanwu said this is the only way to ensure peace in the eastern region and, by extension, the country in general. I'm going to discuss more. I'm going to discuss more with Mr. Speaker, Deputy Speaker. I'll talk because some of the things are not things I can talk to him. I'll talk with him. Then he will have the power to discuss with him. But you see, we think that every effort should be made to release Nandi Khan. If Nandi Khan is released, it is going to make it easy for us. Our, our problem in South East actually is not much. It's based on this, uh, this, on this type of uh, 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 because our people are educated. We don't have the, the problem of a uh, lack of food people. We are not poor. And the only thing is, over the years now, our people have not been able to harness the resources. We have not harnessed it, so that's what our is going to do. I think that one will visit to solve. Whatever we need to do in this area, we will follow. But very soon, you can be coming home without fear. I am very sorry for what has happened, but I think it will be okay soon. Thank you. In his response, while condemning the seat at home order by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, the Eastern Security Network, EFN, the deputy speaker emphasized that the need to put an end to the call, stating that the call is suffocating the socio-economic life of the country. For self-destruction, that is evident in the idea of sit at home. That is evident in the idea of sit at home or unknown god men. It's not our thing. It's alien to us. We don't kill one another. We love our trade. We love our farm. We don't sit at home. Sitting at home is for lazy people. Igbo people are not lazy people. Those in support of sit at home are not Igbos. There is no true son of the soil of Igbo land that will support laziness and call it a strategy for success, section. If you sit at home, you're a lazy man. Igbos are not known to be lazy. We are industrious. We're entrepreneurs. We work hard to succeed. Say no to sit at home. From from grassroots to the top echelon of leadership, we all must arise to say no to sit at home. Uh, when Nasme is leading the advocacy and is also leading the establishment of MSME Council in West Africa, that is the West Africa Unified and Proper Regulation, Proper Legislation that we can advance uh, the development of MSME and the development of our country. Because MSME accounts for over 40% up to 200 employees. So we have the need that we are the MSMEs that proceed the raw input for the larger industries and also take over from the larger industries. But that our presence here will also help to ensure that MSMEs in Nigeria they get the right legislation. The Southeast loses an estimated 10 billion naira to 13 billion naira in the transportation sector alone every seat at home day. Traders on the other hand face losses ranging from 5.4 billion naira to 31 billion naira daily. These figures are alarming. These figures underscore the urgency of addressing the security challenges in the region. It has no reason for these non-state actors to stop this. Let this be their reason, that they are killing their own region.
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.